Hello everyone! We only have two more days left until Christmas, so we are going to be trying to make eggnog ice cream today. So I've never made eggnog ice cream. I have made the simple, the two ingredient uh, ice cream before with just whipped cream and sweetened condensed milk. So I'm gonna be using that and instead of cream, I'm gonna try and add eggnog and see if that whips up. If not, I'll have to add in the whipped cream afterwards. So without further ado, let us put on our Christmas gear and let's get started. Ooh, ice cream, ice cream, we all love ice cream. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I have the eggnog here. I have the sweetened condensed milk and I also have some leftover nutmeg. I am thinking that we are going to be dumping all this nutmeg in and whip it with the eggnog and see if that froths up because last time we tried seasoning the eggnog, I added all the spices that you would usually put in when you make your own eggnog, but I realized that, that those spices are the same spices you use for gingerbread. So I'm gonna only put in nutmeg today and see how that is because if I add in rum, I'm afraid that it'll actually like freeze into little bits. So I don't want like ice in my ice cream. So I'm gonna leave that out today. Okay, so nutmeg is in. Shake up the eggnog a bit. And then I'm gonna pour this in. So why am I making eggnog ice cream? One, because the eggnog is expiring. And two, I always wanted to know, because eggnog is made with cream in the homemade recipes, I wanted to know if this would froth up if I whipped it, and would it make for good ice cream? So let us see. I have the sweetened condensed milk over there on standby. I should also add in some vanilla extra like some vanilla flavoring. I'm gonna go get that too. Plus the final product always looks a little nicer with like the specks of vanilla in it. Let's try this. Hopefully it whips because otherwise I would need to waste more uh, cream. Forming bubbles, but I don't know if it's thickened. I, mean, I need it to be like frosty, misty kind of way, not just foam. But it's leaving those strands, but it's not leaving it long enough. Okay, so this is the problem that uh, I thought would happen. It's because the eggnog, it just, we just made bubbles in it. We didn't actually whip it. So if you let it sit like this, it would just like break down and then go back to its uh, original form-ish. So I'm gonna have to whip up some whipped cream and then I'll have to add this and the sweetened condensed milk to the actual whipped cream. Okay, so this will go off to the side. I'll get another bowl. And we are going to add in our whipped cream. Make a lot at one time. Let us start whipping. All right, you know that whipped cream is ready when you can put it up on your head and it doesn't fall. Yeah. That was scary. Okay, so now that the whipped cream is ready, we are going to make sure we don't waste it. Don't waste as much as it, of it. It only happens when I say these things. When I don't want to waste it and then it flies out of the bowl. Okay, then we are going to add some sweetened condensed milk because I don't think it will be sweet enough. So we'll add some sweetened condensed milk to this. We are going to fold it in and we are going to fold in this as well. I'm going to add a bit at a time. Who knows, maybe it'll be too liquidy. All right, uh, very liquidy. But you can smell the nutmeg as it's become a little more watery than I want it to be. I wonder if I could whip this back up. Hmm. Well, this is a trial and error kitchen, basically. I kinda wanna see if I could keep whipping it and if it will go back to the uh, peaks. Let's try. Okay, it still stays. It still keeps its form. I'm gonna add a bit more of this and fold this in. Well, it's not folding at this point. 
try to mix in the liquid because right now all the liquid is at the bottom and it's not combining with the whipped cream as much as i thought it would and now i have like whipped cream on top of eggnog i think i'll whip it up once more and put this into the a tupperware and i'll put it in the freezer as attempt one and then i will try and put in the rest and try and say that is attempt two let's taste this first though hmm the nutmeg you can kind of taste but it's very overpowered by the vanilla maybe i shouldn't have added vanilla in this hmm. i do taste some of the eggnog it's like a very 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 subtle flavor but then it blends into like whipped cream Okay, let's add a bit more sweetened condensed milk because I don't feel like it's sweet enough for it to be ice cream. Let's whip this up once more. I know I shouldn't whip it as much, but I want to see what it would be like. Now it's so fluffy. But see, it doesn't keep its shape like it did when it was whipped cream. Because now, when you move the bowl a bit, it goes with the bowl. And before, it would stay. And I want some more sweetened condensed milk. Let us fold this in. I think it has mixed in. Let's try again. Okay, it tastes more like eggnog now. Maybe it's just that section that had more eggnog in it. Okay, because it is not going to keep its shape uh, if I keep thinking at it. So let's try and add this directly to a container first. Batch one will be in a smaller container. I don't even think I need a container this big. Definitely did not need a container this big because I'm running out of ice cream to fill it with. Okay, let's thin this out so that hopefully it freezes quicker. So this I will put into the freezer. I should have had some extra nutmeg to just sprinkle on top though, darn. No, I want to try it like this. Okay. I am going to put number one right by the chilies. And hopefully it doesn't fall towards the back. Okay, this one I'm going to put into another location by the fish. Okay, the last one we will just put eggnog directly into this small container so let us shake the eggnog because it says to shake it and then we will pour it into this let's just put a bit and we'll close it up and put it away close it up uh, and we'll put it away i guess we'll put it with number two because there's space here technically let's put it right here next to the dumplings so one two and three i'll come back in a few hours to see what it's like all right we are back and it is time for us to start taste testing. As you can see, we changed locations because people are downstairs and they need to make stuff for our dinner tonight. So I am here. We are going to first try out the Just Eggnog that was frozen. This was in the freezer for about three, four hours. So as you can see, it's just basically all ice, which is not what I wanted. So it's a good thing I didn't pour the whole container in. Let's try this. You can kind of smell the eggnog, but it's just more icy. It's just all ice. Not my favorite. So first batch, it looks very creamy. When you do this to it, I'm the only one that's eating this one, right? You do this to it. It kind of rolls up like ice cream. It looks like ice cream. Now let's see if it tastes like it. It's creamy, tastes like eggnog, but it also has an overwhelming taste of a sweetened condensed milk. It's like vanilla ice cream with sweetened condensed milk in it. It tastes maybe a bit of like nutmeg, but I'm not sure. So on to the last one. This last one is the one where we poured in the whole thing of a uh, eggnog into. Okay, so it looks pretty much frozen, as you can see here. Oh. It is not completely solid. It uh, broke apart. I think it needed a bit more time to freeze over. But it has that icy texture. I'm not liking in my ice cream, but we'll see. Very creamy. And tastes more like eggnog because of all the nutmeg that's in it. Hmm. But there's a definite separation between where the ice is. See? On top, it's all like cream so it's like ice cream because it's like whipped cream but the bottom is all like icy it's starting to become like icicles and stuff so it's like a mix of the first two the bottom is the first and then on top is the second but it tastes good very creamy very milky i like it would i make it again probably not with eggnog and probably just use the two 
ingredients to make my own thing, my own uh, vanilla ice cream. But otherwise, good. Maybe I should add it to my eggnog. Mm. Yes, I have a bike back there. It's winter outside, so I can't ride it. I did eat more of the second one. I think I did like this one more. This consistency was more of that of a ice cream. So this one was the one with less of the eggnog and more of the whipped cream. So I think I'll try making this again, but with homemade eggnog instead next time. Okay, so I hope you like that video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. We only have one more day until Christmas tomorrow. So eat lots of ice cream, drink lots of eggnog, have a nice holiday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.